Right, so today we have come to Ainsley Church, Ainsley Hall, and this whole site is abandoned. Apparently there's a church, there's obviously a graveyard, there's a massive hall next door, which is supposedly the most haunted building in Britain. And there's staff buildings, there's so much to explore, so much to do, so none of less, let's get down to it. So our entrance is down there on a nice path. Honestly, none of these graves have any markings on at all. And holy crap, this place honestly gives me the creeps and the random cars just piled up as well. Barely make out absolutely anything, but nonetheless, let's uh, start to explore it. Ah, uh, here's the church on the right. I have had some compelling videos, which will be on the YouTube shorts. I believe the staff rooms or hall. Here's a church, some more graveyards. This was a church from the 1200s to roughly around 1800s main door. All Saints Church. Whoa, what? And there's a Dan over there. Obviously been abandoned for quite some time. They started to do renovations, I believe, quite some time ago. And holy... There was another story on top of that, but they removed it for some reason, not 100% sure. And well, let's go ahead, so let's look around here. Now this is a place there, if you've seen TV shows like Ghost Hunters, they've actually come here, they've proven it to be one of the most haunted places in Britain. And there is a man, Charles, that stands in this corner. And I have actually caught him on an SOS video. They're very tall, but... Whoa, is that you, Charles? He's stood right in that corner there. Can you give us a wave? Can you wave for us? Mm -hmm. Oh, shh. Yeah, Is that right? That, that must be where the uh, organ was. Oh, no. Whoa. Shit, I forgot the other phone. Whoa. I'm never afraid um, EV Proper waving. And he is still there, I repeat, he, he, it's like dancing on you, holy, and then he, but you just saw him go straight to the left, he bolted away, the second you started turning around looking at me, he disappeared. century former parish church of Ainsley for all saints so this is all locked off stairs full of sand from obviously the sandstone that it's made from all locked up well obviously I am joined by Dan he's just gone over here I see him talking about Daniel right now me and Daniel are actually planning on making a joint channel called Exploring with Dukes. Now, I do touch on this further on in the video, but while I've just mentioned Dan versus first time I've been on this channel, I just want to say that we are filming three different videos right now. The one you're watching is on my channel. He's going to be filming another perspective, and then we're going to be doing another one on both of our channels. Well, the joint channel called Exploring with Dukes. So make sure to go down below and go watch his perspective when he uploads it and then watch our normal channel which is a new channel yeah anyway have fun massive door i don't know whether the place we went to was actually part of it or not but it's one massive hole in there Big, big door. 
Like, this would have been majestic when this was actually part of the church. And here's Dan. All right. All right. <laughs> so obviously we've got the other buildings to explore if we can get to them. But this is like, in died in 1718, I believe. Oh, no, day seven. Day 28, day 17th of the 8th. Something, can't make out the rest of it. Wow. Rest in peace. This one has been damaged, sadly. Make out more in the footage and stand in person. But wow. to try get down there as well. So if this is the hole, this is one of the most haunted places in the whole of Britain. And my lord, it does look creepy. It's been blocked off over there, sadly. That would have been a majestic entrance, that. And it has been said that the church is apparently a lot more haunted than the actual hall itself, which, I mean, the fact that so many dead bodies go in and out of the church, and obviously you've got all the, well, the saints, should I say, that resided around the grounds. The staff lived around here. They will be attached to the buildings. The buildings have a story to tell. And at night time, we will let their voices be told and heard. Their stories will be told to the world and to you that are watching. So stay tuned to that. That is majestic, honestly. Wow. That looks like it was at one point fenced off. You can just make out the wall going around. So those two must have been related somehow. But, oh, wow. Like this is a super weathered. Barely make out any of it. I can't believe. It. That there's a staff housing over that, or that one of them. And there's multiple buildings around here. Ah, so that's there. Is there? So I believe all these are actually known haunted locations. Musters Memorial. That there is where we are going to get footage. This grave right here. 
Wow. So when we do come at night, this is one again. This will be our hotspot location as well as the church as well. Because we are spending the night here. And my Lord, that will be amazing. Wow. Okay, so... Oh, wow. I've got two entities picking up right now. It doesn't go as far as where Daniel is, but oh, what? Wow. Why has this one not got a head, though? I've So that board over there, as you just saw, has stated that... Um, well, don't state, but all those are haunted locations and haunted hotspots. And we've got two entities right in front of us. Now, yes saying that this is the most haunted place in Britain I am not surprised that these want to say hello during the day and as you can see it literally just disappeared so for people saying that it could be the carvings blah 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 how do you explain that it's fully disappeared wow well okay something else just popped up I don't know what that was Okay. Wow. So this place right here, supposedly the most haunted locations in Britain, proven by ghost hunters. And right now I've just caught the most compelling evidence that I've ever captured. Not just a spirit, I've had a spirit just leap onto me, drain my energy and make me feel the way they felt. I felt so emotional. I was near enough bawling into tears and that footage will be in the video. So make sure you go check it out. Wow. This almost doesn't feel that's abandoned a bit more of it. It does look wow. Taken care of. The grass is perfectly caught. Apparently, a charity uh, does this. Oh my lord, is it majestic? Holy cow. Can't get into it, but we will try to find a place that we can. Trespassers will be prosecuted. We're not going in unless there is some no no growing here. But I could. No idea what's inside, but you'll be able to see. So me and Dan are actually uh, collaborating, kind of. We're making a joint YouTube channel. Kind of slippy here. I've got no grip on my shoes. But, um, yeah, it's going to be called Exploring with Dukes. A little play on word. It's going to be Luke, Dan, obviously, but Dukes, meaning royalty and royalty and exploration videos. Okay, we can actually get through this. Okay. Right, 
so we've got the footage to show you that uh, we've not broken that down. Here's the majestic holy. So obviously this video now what I'm recording this is going on my main channel then we're going to be adding them to our new channel which will be set up within the next couple of months currently working on getting yeah currently working on getting a uh, like YouTube banners the logos getting the plan down set into place and just everything we need for our channel and obviously we do want you guys to subscribe and we'll let you know once everything's set up we've not yet created a youtube channel so it's nothing for you to subscribe yet but once this video does go live then there's a 90 percent chance so it will be up and sorted and wow we wow that is beautiful Totally. Okay. That could even be sewage. It looks like sewage. Yeah, there's water down there. It's sewage. Wow. Now this place is absolutely massive. There's three, maybe four buildings here. And I believe that there is a hall itself. That is the most haunted location, but supposedly the church we was at before, prior to coming here, that there is more haunted in terms of YouTubers. Uh, That's going to be locked, isn't it? Yeah. Just see the little padlocks at the bottom. And that is a heavy duty padlock. <laughs> but yeah, if you do come to places like this, don't break and enter. I know a load of people like cop that stuff out and whatnot, but don't do it, man. It's not worth it. Just enjoy it. Because if you do break and enter, they're just going to lock everything up and just document it, have a little look around. Oh, maybe it does have the mortuary I was on about where they saw the bodies. Just there, there's a gap there, you see the archway in that? Ah, yeah. Just zoom right in on that. So, I'm gonna try to get over there and have a look myself now. And, um, yeah. and Dan, I've been telling uh, my subscribers on my channel that we are making our own channel up as well yeah yeah let's have a look over there i've got my torch on so let's try not to die <laughs> wow this yeah these are all like derelict buildings kind of reminds me of fallout yeah i don't know whether i dare go down there or not but if i don't i'm gonna regret it you know what sorry let's do it thing is i can't see because it's quite tall grass so i don't know whether there's going to be a hole or nothing but if there is a hole and they fall down it more footage for you guys oh lordy i haven't got the best grip on Whoa! <laughs> I nearly fell to my death then. Let me know these, yeah, these rocks aren't entirely stable at all. Oh, a bit of plastic there. Oh no, bit of wood. Wow, this is intense. I'm scared to look down it, to be fair. It's like, that's underneath a grave. 
Yeah, you know what? I'm doing it for you guys. There's forms absolutely everywhere. Stuff I put myself up to is insane. Okay. Best way to go. Probably left over there. Okay. There's cans and everything in there. That's disgraceful. What the hell? Why do people do that? Like, if you come to places like this, don't litter it. <sighs> yeah. Um, I won't be able to get there because I will crack my head open if I try to do that. Right, okay. Yeah, it does look like it's just like a pizza oven. It's round as well. Yeah. Pizza oven, maybe? But you just saw there's a cans people littered everywhere. Like, don't be that type of person to come to a place like this, especially with such heritage, such history, like the most haunted place in Britain. Like, come on, why would you do that? Why would anyone do that? Don't. If you come here, Come here to have fun. Do what you're doing. Don't litter. Don't be that type of stupid idiot. Man. It's just stupid, man. I hate people like that. I literally hate people. Oh, and I'm out. Right, so that was like two minutes of me just falling around. He's it, it, taking care of another one of those switch holes, it looks like. Massive chain. Wow. Like, with that, you're talking centuries or that. Don't know where Dunn's gone. <laughs> I'm going to not remember. <laughs> oh, it looks like it's a little, like, pool or pit or something there. Like, this would be, this would have been majestic when it was first, like, it kind of reminds me of, like, the Wayne Manor stairs up to the graveyard. Yeah, it would have been a pool. Well, not a pool, but like a water feature, water pond or something. People were making fires there. Don't be that person to go to a place and then lift it everywhere. If you have rubbish, put it in your pocket, put it in the bag. Bring a bag with you. Knock, knock, knock. Let's see what's underneath. Upside down footage. Right, so it looked like that was just a room. A bit boring, really, but <laughs> yeah. Don't know whether that goes anywhere. Obviously, I can't get in there to look. And it has got a lock on it, unfortunately. But stuff like this has been screwed shut. People have tried breaking in with a crowbar, it seems like, but don't be that type of person, man. Don't break and enter. And look at this an old antique horseshoe it looks like just turning on a bit of a rock bang i actually do have uh, horseshoes at home one in my shed one in my living room actually i have two in my shed and ah, i think i've actually got a fawn in my leg oh there it goes yeah this place i believe it's uh from the 12th century for 1200s to all the way up to the 19th century 18 like the early 1800s, like 1850s, blah, blah, blah. And wow. <laughs> Imagine having this as your back garden. It reminds me kind of us of a Walton Park almost with the hall and then that big majestic like driveway. My Lord, no windows at all. Old uh, sundial on there. That's so how you can tell, like, this is, <laughs> yeah, it's abandoned. Like, there's probably a basement under the hill, but, but yeah. Someone's tried getting in. Yeah, that's 
watch shut. Like I am trying doors that I go past just in case like odd chance, like one in a million chance that it's actually open. Wow. Yeah, that's bolted. No chance, no chance. We will go up there to... Hey, Daniel! Oi. There's a hole in the uh, door there. So there's some chance we might be able to get in. There is a bit of a hole in the uh, door over there. So we'll go check it out in a bit. Um, so there's this little room underneath the stairway. What's that? No key. Okay, what's this? Like a cellar? Ah, oh, this would have been for like quarters or something. This goes to the other side because you can see it from the other side. You just going to put my red torch on and then. Uh, Looks like a bomb shot. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think I believe in this today, but. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, I believe this is the other side of where I was a minute ago. And people in this, man, hey, like, I don't know whether this leads to the, uh, like, underneath the church, where they saw the bodies are open. No, it's literally just this with a mud pit. Unless at this one point, this used to be like a... Oh, I can... I don't know. Because it's directly underneath. Yeah, it's underneath the church. This is pretty much... I have no idea what this would have been, but... Yeah. We'll follow down as well. There's another room or something, there. I didn't even see that. Ah, oh, no, no. Just no. unless this is where they kept like food and stuff. But I know there's a water feature around the front. If you can see, it comes the water looks like it comes from under the stone tree. Ah, I did not see that. It's like a big trough, it's like a big plant, it looks like a planter, but if you look above it, there's like a little seashell. Oh yeah, yeah, and, that's uh, right. If you look above the seashell, there's like a little hole where the water used to come out, and that looks like it comes from under the cemetery. Oh, yeah, and now you've got your torch. Yeah, it does look, whoa, what's that bulb? That's not a skull, is it? That's not a top of it. No, nah, it's just a stone, isn't it? Yeah, it's a stone. Yeah. It's interesting how they've got the little ledges here, little shelves kind of thing. What's that? Wow. There's a way around. Oh. I just heard yeah, something yeah. over there. This isn't a grave, is it? You don't think it's great, no? Nah. It's random dirt. That... Unless this was like for horses, no. Storage for food, because I know, linking it to Wollaton Park, they used to get like, they had an house house for food. And then also they used, a oh, lime scale coming off. Yeah. yeah. The Wollaton used uh, St. Martin's Pond in the winter for ice. Oh, okay. For ice and whatnot. And then, like there. It's literally situated in the middle of nowhere. And it's, this is absolutely, a, it's a beautiful place. Looks like the stairs, are, so we'll go upstairs. Okay, editor note. No clue whether this is going on my channel or Daniel's channel. So if it's going on the main channel, then cut it out. If not, then leave it in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it does appear like it goes right over there. And then here. 
think this was part of like a garden. Massive wastelands, like. <sighs> it is beautiful. Tell you now. I was just saying, it reminds me of Fallout. Because in Fallout, you go to all these abandoned places. It's very Fallouty. See, people will throw rubbish. Don't do that. I know I've said it enough times, but just don't do it. A white wall, trees put down from somewhere. Wow. No cap. Okay. There's like some circular stairs. Cool, cool. Volleyball, it does no chance at how you're getting in there. But it should completely. But yeah, like the church is literally right next to it. And this is just a hall. So I think the church must have been for like the family of this hall, pretty much. Let's try to find Daniel. Yeah, it's a very beautiful place. Countryside's beautiful. I'd love to live in here. Well, not how it is now. Bit renovated. Oh, Daniel's over there getting some B-roll footage. That I shall not do. <laughs> so yeah, this is all going on. A mixture of it's going on my channel. Some of it's going on our joint channel, exploring with Dukes. That looks like an old bottle. It looks old, but at the same time looks modern. There's mark in there. Let's try to see the marking. One, three. And I've just put my arm right into a horn. But yeah, it's very old bottle right here. Yeah, old bottle. Old glass bottle. Uh, that, that doesn't look like anything that I've seen before. And I think they've actually started to... Uh, renovate this place so luckily we've come in the right like time also it looks like there's been fires all around here with the burnt roots try and show you but yeah i mean that just goes to i just lost it what was that then so we'll try see if there's anything down here Big thorns and prickly, rickly stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what? Whoa! Wow! Whoa! That and that is a find. Like this place, I only like saw videos of the church and obviously ghost hunters back like a few years ago. Okay, so the wood doesn't appear to be too old. There have been people in it. Let's go in. Goes to wow, scary. Oh, for isn't that great? So someone's done it. Rubbish again. Why do people do it? I don't know. Someone's had a party here. Someone's literally should come here to have a party. Fuck sakes. Like, why would you. Wow. Okay. Alright, so if you have enjoyed this, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't done already, to stay tuned for more awesome videos like this. Now, I didn't actually do it outro while i was there but i have now so hey ho smash the like button subscribe if you haven't already it's been your boy fluke peace out.